In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Medium Editor and how to master it in less than nine minutes. So Medium allows you to easily publish great looking articles pretty fast. However, the problem still persists. How do you make and create a great looking article? Because Medium gives you different styling options. And the thing is that your readers, before investing two, three, four, five, six minutes of their time, they want to make sure that your writing is worth it, right? So what do they do? They're simply going to click your article and then simply start skimming it and look, hey, is this article interesting? Is it easy to read? Am I going to learn something new? And this is why formatting is so important. So let me just show you exactly how to format your article. So in order to start writing on Medium, simply click on the right button on the right-hand side, and then you're going to have the editor in front of you. So here's exactly how to do this. So the first thing, obviously, is going to be the title. So let's assume that my title is How I Grew My Faceless YouTube Channel to 10,000 Subscribers in 10 Months. And then write your text, right? So far, so good. But look at this article. You see that here you have the headline and here you have kind of a subheadline. So how do we do this? Well, the easiest thing to do this is to simply head over to your editor and then simply start writing your subtitle right here. What you're then going to do is simply going to select this. And then you have two options right here. As you can see, you have two T letters right here. Simply click on the smaller one and it will automatically convert this to a subtitle. Hey, but did you notice? You can also add something straight before the headline. And this is called a kicker. So how do you create a kicker? Well, pretty easy. You simply go back to your editor and simply enter your kicker right here. So that's your kicker. You select it, then to hit the small t again. And as you can see, it automatically converted this into a kicker. Here you have your title, here you have a subtitle. Great. If you look at your timeline on Medium, you always see an image on the right-hand side that illustrates the article. So how articles are commonly formatted on Medium is that you simply have an image straight underneath the title. So here's exactly how to do this. Simply head over to your article, click on the plus sign, and here you're going to see that you have different options. So the first option right here is an image. All you have to do is simply click on the image, select the image that you want to add. So let's assume that I wanted to add this image right here, and that's it. So as you can see, you have different options for the image. Usually I like to keep it in this format right here. You can also add an alt text. This is usually something that you, if you focus on SEO and then right, you'll be able to credit the image. So crediting in images on Medium is important. And this is basically something that the platform wants you to do. So no matter if it's generated with AI or if like me, you grab this on Unsplash, here is exactly how to attribute this. So once you're going to head over and simply download the image, you always have a little credit mention that you can simply copy to your clipboard and then simply go back to Medium and paste it underneath the image. So far, so good. As you noticed, if you want this little plus sign to appear right here, all you have to do is simply click on enter and start a new line and it will automatically appear. And as you can see, you can also embed, let's say YouTube videos, Vimeo videos. All you have to do is simply copy the link and paste it right here. You can also embed content from other websites like from X, formerly Twitter, and you can also paste in some code, right? And basically select different code languages based on simply what you want to paste. So another option that you have right here is simply add a separator. So separator are interesting if let's say you want to separate between, let's say the signature or between different sections. So it adds a little bit more clarity to the overall piece. So now let's talk about another feature that you're going to need is simply how to format your subtitles. So usually an article is nothing else than a collection of different ideas. And usually you're going to group these ideas underneath subtitles. So an easy way to do this is to simply select your subtitle like that and simply click on the big T and this will automatically format this as a subtitle. So other option that you might want to consider. So let's say, what if you want to bold things? Well, all you have to do is select and either 
hit Command B if you're on Mac or Control B if you are on Windows. Or you can also simply click the E letter right here. Same thing for italics. You can also obviously embed a link, right? So all this is pretty straightforward. And you can also start your paragraph with a bigger letter like that. So another option that you have here on Medium is when it comes to quote. So let's assume that this is the quote that you want to add to your article. Then all you can do is simply click on the quote sign right here and you have different options. So this is the first option and this is the second option that you have, right? So by clicking this several times, you can either switch or go back to the normal text layout. Did you also notice that we have this common function right here? So this is usually a note that you can add, either annotate your own article or when submitting it to a publication, if you want to add kind of personal message, you can easily do this right here and simply click on send and it will save this as a note in your article. So another thing you might also want to consider is to simply add bullet points. Well, bullet points are pretty easy. Medium automatically re recognize bullet points simply by starting a new line with a dash and then space. That's all there is to it. Once you're done with your list, simply hit return two times and it will quit the bullet point mode. So all this to say that mastering the medium editor is pretty easy. So now you're equipped with exactly everything you need. Now comes the time of publishing the article. So what are your different options right here? First of all, you can add a few tags simply before publishing it. You can add up to five tags that will help classify what your story is all about. You can either pay your story if you're already enrolled in the Medium Partner Program. If not, you will not have this option here. And you can also choose to send this article to your email subscribers, which means that some people are going to subscribe to your articles on Medium to get them via email. You basically have the option to either send it and notify them or not, right? Then you have two other options right here. So you can either publish and send this now or schedule it for later. So again, this is pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not going to click on that since this is a demo article. And if you also noticed, you have three dots right here. And here is where you can go, where you can do a bunch of different things. So number one, you can click on add to publication. So publications are a great way to get you in front of more eyeballs on Medium. So, so all you have to do is once you're enrolled into a publication, simply select the publication that you want to submit this article to, right? And, and that's it. Then you also have other options that you can head over right here into in the settings. So you can play around with the SEO settings, with other advanced settings um, that you usually won't need when you're just getting started. So you can also change the meta description, the title, and so on and so forth. So usually that's not something that I would recommend to do when you're just getting started. Just focus on simply creating a beautiful looking story and that's all there is to it. So I hope that this was helpful. If you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments. I'm also going to leave a link to my 100K online writing system if you're interested in writing about your expertise uh, and making 100K per year. You can get access to this free email course in the email down below and I talk to you soon.